Hey, welcome to the podcast. It's just the podcast? two of us. You we can, can make, make it if we try. try. Is it we just can make it if we try? Oh. Yeah. It's a weird lyric just though, isn't it? It's just the two of us. We can make we it if we try. We can make it if we try. Yeah. yeah. What I were think you it's singing? It's a weird lyric. Just the two of us. Something, something, pot pie. Oh, <laughs> you want a chicken pot pie? I love chicken pot pie. I love chicken pot pie. I love pot pies because you don't have to make the base. Because the base is the soggy bit. Isn't the pot pie just like a pie in a pot and then just pastry on top? Oh, like a little lid. Pretty much like, like a little a pastry lid. That's oh, all you nice. need. Well, and because you don't want pastry to be soggy and weird. You want it to be crunchy, want crispy, the buttery. Top bit. Yes. Oh, my pot pies. A uh, little friend, JC, um, has popped off to film something top secret. Yeah. He's going to be amazing. He's quite nervous. Yes. Don't tell him. I mean, Joel, if you're listening, block your ears. Yeah. He's quite nervous. Mm-hmm. But, you know, I, no, I can't even say anything. Yeah. Can't even can't even give any kind of description of why he's nervous. But he's nervous, and but he's going to be amazing because he thrives in those. He does thrive, of, and he also he he's that that he he puts himself in situations that I wouldn't. Yeah, that's why everyone goes. Do you get nervous? I go. Oh, not really. But it's because I only do things that I know are <laughs> yeah. going to be okay. <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. I'm, I'm, I'm not exactly the attempting same. the dawn wall in the Christmas break. No, you know? no. Why? <laughs> why would you? Uh, it was a great show though. A birthday show today, and it's my yes, birthday today. It's Joel. Tomorrow, and we have a great quick draw with Reese Nicholson. That's all happening, so just stick around. Enjoy. This is Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. It's Ricky Lee, it's Tim Blackwell, it's Joel Creasy, it's the gang. Yo, yo. Yes, guilty as charged. Today I feel uh, Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Tim, to the best I love. I think this could be the best show ever. This is the best day of my whole life. Wow. We're the up and about party show. Turn it up, Tim. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Another banger. Oh, yes. <laughs> Welcome to this a Thursday afternoon. And look who's back. Back again. Oh, well, a friend is back. Joel is back. Know. Tell a I friend. Could... I couldn't yes miss today, back. Black. Yes as back. No. My I was going to bake myself into a cake for you. Um, oh, that would have been so good. Yeah, I imagine if that was the reason I wasn't here yesterday. I was getting back into a big <laughs> red velvet cake. That's never um, happened for me, you know. I've had well, this is my 42nd birthday okay, and no one's on. ever jumped out of a cake. Let me, let me write that in my here notes. We go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Happy birthday, birthday to you. <laughs> oh, beautiful. There you go. Yeah, Ricky's a master at um, taking notes because I, I was just at a bottle shop with her um, a couple of weeks ago. Surprise. Surprise. So surprise. Weird. Like, That's what? such a you weird place for us We to must be. have been lost looking for the cushion <laughs> shop. <laughs> and I just said, That's my favourite tequila over there. And then look what happened. Look what appears yeah. in a tube for my me. My eyes wow. turned into magnifying glasses, like binoculars, and they zoomed right in. Yes, and I wrote really. it down in my notes. So I brought it in for your birthday. You know, I, I, I um, got from my birthday once from Dylan Lewis. I think I've told this story. On air, it was a bottle of Shivers okay. Regal, but in a tube like this. Yeah. So he uh, opened the tube. Yeah. Let one rip in it. Oh my god. And then closed <laughs> it. Right. And my god, you open. It. He goes, open it. And I go, I know what it looks like. He goes, open it. And I was like, <laughs> Well, oh, open that. I've done that. <laughs> I can't <laughs> believe it stays in there. Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> How did you well, know? I put tuna juice in there for you. <laughs> Your favourite. Uh, it's, it's Leo season, as we know. Joel's is tomorrow. Um, I know. It's so inconvenient. I'm, I was is. just saying to you off air, I think I'm going to move my birthday. Like it's Because it's also Jack, my boyfriend's birthday day, so it's just too much. Hi, Jack. Oh, too my much. goodness. Happy birthday, Jack. Oh, hang on. Let me, let me quote your favourite TV show. Hi, Jack. Oh, nice. <laughs> and I was Devo, that wasn't on last night when I was feeling a little under the weather. Well, so the two loves of your life, it's their know, birthday on the same day. Your boys, you, your work wife and your home Aww. wife. And you know what's bad? I did t- tell you, I think I'm fairly confident I wished Black his happy birthday this morning before I actually wished ha- Jack happy birthday. Whoopsie. You also do my favourite thing ever. I tell this story everywhere when you were overseas with Jack and every time you went out for dinner, you go, you know who would love it here? Tim would love it here. <laughs> I love that. That made me so good, that. Hey, if it's your birthday today or tomorrow, just sh- just jump on. 13, 20, 14, say hi to us both. Yes. It's Leo just season, guys. Mind. Get involved. And now, for all you vampires, here's <laughs> Olivia Rodrigo. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Vampires. Someone texted me the other day going, why isn't, why isn't that on the rest of the day when they fight? I'm like, because they're, they're not stupid Just like I am. special for us. <laughs> It's special for the Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel show, and we're all here back oh, together. We are here. That's so nice. We are and I here. Wasn't, 
I was saying to someone how, like, I was like, that's very tricky what he does having to play that during a song. You know, he has to fade down the song and then play it uh-huh. and have the timing. I was, yeah, had your my back biggest row. fan over here. Your Look biggest fan. Oh, it's he's just, your birthday. He's just sucking up your... Yeah. Yeah. Because it's is. your birthday. But I do miss, I do miss hearing it. When I'm driving home, generally it's playing on Smallsy's <laughs> show. <laughs> and I'm always so Come upset. on, Smallsy, do, yeah. do the Ricky version. Do, do the vampire Ma- version. Maybe really Dan, version. actually Dan, maybe make a drive version. Put it in our show, and then if other shows want to play it, they can. One, two, yeah. three. This is your birthday. All right, Linda. Hey, Linda. Hi, Linda. Hi. Happy Hi. birthday. Thank you. It's Joel's Thank birthday you. tomorrow, by the way, so I just wish yeah, him happy no, birthday okay. as well. Oh, that's okay. I'll make tomorrow about me. Um, Linda, <laughs> are you <laughs> celebrating? <laughs> Sorry? Good chat, cool. No, 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 no never mind. Let's move over to Frank. That's yeah. perfect. Good stuff, Joe. Welcome back. Welcome um, back. <laughs> sorry? <laughs> that fire. Hey, Frank, happy birthday, bro. Hey, thank you. You planning yeah. a big one? Big one, big one. That's the Saturday night. I have a picture to my wife. It's our anniversary goal. Oh, congratulations. Yeah. Happy Beautiful. birthday and congratulations. Good stuff. Have a ripper of a weekend. So yeah. I know my friends are going to. Yeah, save ourselves. Shout out to Ruben, Peking Doug Ruben. It's his birthday today as well. Happy birthday, Rubes! Happy birthday, Rubes. Oh, I just love just the Leo. Just the Leo energy. It's Carl Stefanovic's on Saturday. Oh, my gosh. It is big Leo energy around here. John Law's here. on the 8th. Kate, Kate Lambrook on the 8th. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Gosh. There's Line too many pack. of you around here. Ayo. Ayo. Well, no, we're a pri- sorry, a pride of lions, not a lion pack. That's not what you call it. Oh, a pride of lions. Actually, I'm um, speaking of lions of all time. Mm. Today's the tenth anniversary of Katy Perry's Raw. Oh, oh obviously. My gosh. Oh my god, should we just play, play that? It for your birthday? Come on, Huge. let's put it on. Let's go. No, that was today. The greatest song of all time. Let me let me I've got to search for it because we didn't plan this because no one was here at four o'clock. Couldn't find anyone. I remember going for oh. a break after the <laughs> came out and it really got me through some dark days. <laughs> oh, I did it. <laughs> Yeah, I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath, like things that like made Did no you sense though? to Did me. Did you ever bite your tongue? No, that like that's, yeah. <laughs> Remember Katy Perry on the throne? She sits like um, Jermaine does in the middle of an Uber. Like this. <laughs> I heard about Jermaine in the Uber today. Man spreading. I know. It's like, I know. dude, um, there's three of us on this bench seat. Yeah, but maybe he's got a big, you know, he <laughs> can't. Big, big ego. Close his legs. <laughs> big laptop. Yeah. Well. <laughs> big headphones. You know, people could could ask him about that. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Happy 10th anniversary, Katy Perry's Raw! I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. That song is 10 years old today. Such a good song. For all the Leos out there, I also gave a shout out to John Laws, his birthday on the 8th. Give me the number of it. Oh, God, can I? The number? I don't believe I have the number. Uh, that's a telephone number. Yes, all right, here you are. You ready? I'll take the risk. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, do you have your pen at the ready? Yes. Okay. Six. F- six. Six. Good, that's very good. <laughs> three. Six what? <clears throat> oh, my God. Three. Eight. Oh, Jesus. How can he be a number? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know, but I, I just can't... A cat just seems to vibrate in my ear. Okay, well, I'll say it very quietly now. Yes. Can, can you hear me? Yes. Six. Yes. Three. Three. Very good. Yes. Six, three. Nine. Nine. And another nine. Yes. Eight. Eight. Very good. <laughs> Five. Five. One. One. Yes. <laughs> That's it, is it? Yes, would you read it back to me? <laughs> uh, six, three, nine, nine, five, oh, no, wait a minute, oh, no, eight, five, one. You've got it, you've got it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. How, oh, I mean, I was going to say, how have I never heard that, but there's no surprises oh, one there. One of the best, Thorsey, one of the that best. That is amazing. Yeah. Oh. Um, let's talk about ridiculous things you charged for. 13, 24, 10 is our number. Um, mm. Things that you're like, Pfft. and I feel I feel this happens a lot more now because we just give our number, a credit card numbers over to people, oh, and then yes. all of a sudden you're like, oh, that's two dollars nineteen for just going in there or that yeah. extra, oh. 
or if you if you buy like I, I was buying tickets to a certain huge gig the other the other day. Yeah. Yes, I remember. Extra fifteen bucks because you did it on this website. <laughs> so you're like, oh, for real? You're like, I hate that. So oh, cheeky. cool. I hate yeah. that so much. Old apps that you've signed up to that you've never used again. Well, yeah, that that happens with the kids all the time. Apple Apple just deduct fifty nine sixty three from the credit card. You're like, what's that from? Oh, games. Because that and... was that was a free app. No. What's happened? Yeah. Or all the no. things that they've like, like the in-app Bought. purchases. <laughs> oh, they're the worst. Yeah. yeah. Grinder Unlimited, so you can see as many people as you want. They don't cap it. Anyway. Oh, my gosh, really? really? I was told that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, <laughs> um, 13 what have you been ridiculously charged for? Give us a call. Yeah, this is about a traveller in Italy, and mm. they were having lunch at a restaurant in Lake Como. Oh, oh yes. Yet to go. I'd love to. Um, it's one of my favourite bloke... places. Does George Clooney and, and Anal still live there? Yes, Amal. Not, oh, sorry, not Amal. Anal. I love Amal. It was George and Anal. Jo- George and Anal. <laughs> yeah. No, it's not. <laughs> oh, you're saying Amal, is it? <laughs> I think it's like A-M-A-L. Wow, not my experience. <laughs> You've got a new favourite word, Ricky. Oh, um, I don't think it's new. It's not new. <laughs> <laughs> it's just one of my faves. So she does this job now. Yeah. There's <laughs> there's wasn't anal, there's wasn't butthole, there's... <laughs> wasn't enough, enough room and throwing to Harry Connick Jr. to mention <laughs> the A word. <laughs> <laughs> so we're lucky enough to get it all. <laughs> I feel very special. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Well, this guy having lunch in Lake Como... Mm-hmm. Um, as if his life wasn't hard enough, he ordered a vegetarian sandwich with French fries inside because yeah. <laughs> he's an adult. Um, and when he received the bill, he realised he'd been charged two euros, that's $3.30 Australian, by the restaurant for cutting his sandwich in half. What? <laughs> Are you for real? <laughs> Which they never asked for, by the way, I should add. They no, never asked is... for the sandwich. Oh, they never asked for it to be cut in half. No, and um, and the restaurant owner defended the cost, saying additional requests have a cost, which it wasn't a request. It wasn't an a request. request. I'd fight that charge. Yeah. I know. Fight the I'd power. fight that charge to the sandwich. death. Fight the power. I know. <laughs> oh, my Two goodness. Two euros to cut it in half. I mean, also, isn't that kind of your job in the kitchen? Yes. To put things together and cut them up or well, no, see, slice and dice? One and... of our local chicken shops, which is you a big, bit of a chain, their chicken rolls are like this big. Yeah. So when mm. I get them for the kids, I say, can you cut that in threes? Yeah. Oh, the look I get. It's like oh. you've got a knife. I've seen you use it. You're in the sandwich business. I'm not walking into the hairdresser asking them to chop it in half. Or do they, <laughs> do they, do they maybe think you're being a cheapskate? And not ordering three sandwiches but and just ordering one, and you're just like, because well, I don't eat one. It's a massive. I mean, they're tiny little children, of course. Come on. Anyway, they, we're, we're only here for your chips, artists. anyway. Pardon? <laughs> no, they they're they're sandwich not. artists. We're talking about. Okay. Like I was that time for charity. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Were you? How long were you there for? Um, three sandwiches worth. Until <laughs> they got the photo. <laughs> and I can imagine you were really, you know, into being there. I loved it. I was yeah. there for the. Uh, yeah, I actually loved it. The one I made up for myself was yeah. quite delicious. I can, Im- I can I imagine. I put it all on there, you know? Of course, yeah. everything. The lot. The lot. Oh, the smell. I just the smell of Subway. It reminds me of being a Casanova. Oh, yeah. We used to eat it for lunch every single day. Did you all smell like parmesan day. bread? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yum. And that her Italian herb bread. Oh, I know. Yum. We're here for the bread, Subway. Oh. No, I'm there for the cookies, the soft, the chewy cookies. They're Which so one? So soft. Which one? Triple, I like the triple choc. Yeah, the triple choc. The triple choc. The triple choc. Oh, triple my choc. gosh. And then you pop, it in, the, pop choc. it in the microwave when you get home. It just What's softens What's it making it more? <laughs> yes. What are you? An idiot sandwich. This is Ricky Lee Chinchal. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Ricky Lee Chinchal, driving you home on Nova. Mummy, hey, um, I was thinking when we were putting the show together today. Yeah. I'll wait for this. Because we're speaking about mummies here. We might be your official Egypt station. We talk about Egypt. <laughs> we really do. So, a lot, and I love it. <laughs> I love I know. it. New thing for Egypt. I love to go to the pyramids. Same. So, so would I. I would yeah, and see the Sphinx. Yeah. yeah. It looks like I've got tons of attitude. And um, Tony Carmen. I think I think oh. the heat as well. I'll, I'll really oh, enjoy. Love that, yeah. yeah. And I the, think we and, should go. And the share plates. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh, gosh. I might have to butch it up a bit, but that'll be fine. <laughs> oh, yeah. um, <laughs> well, maybe, maybe you stay here. Yeah, maybe. You, you couldn't I'm, wear I'm, that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my <no, right. laughs> 
ink sweater. Um, the world's best preserved mummy has been found. She's a 500-year-old teenage girl, like me, uh, that was found <laughs> wow. in the frozen mountains above South America. Yeah. She's been dubbed Inca Ice Maiden. And this everything so was frozen creepy. untouched from the moment she died. Oh, is her hair intact? Is that hair? This is really yeah. creepy. Oh my goodness! It's like, oh, like they're so. In- I've never seen a mummy so intact. That's incredible. How five hundred years? Doesn't she? Yeah. That's that's ice bath for the next level for you. I know. I was thinking she had freeze a yourself. real long ice bath. Oh, freeze yourself, Joel. <laughs> I, have my, I have my forehead, so I might as well do everything else. Forehead of hair. Gosh, shocking. Ble- no, no one else can see this photo, but no, it's taking I've, our breath I've, away. I I've got nothing to say. I'm just gobsmacked. She's been on the fish oil. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. There you go, there's your boy, John Cook and Lado 7. I love Monday, that song. Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> I like it. I like it's it. It's beautiful. He's the guy from... BTS. BTS, yeah. Got, I, did, like, I, I knew that. I didn't want to say that, though. He's my favourite from BTS, but I think he's a lot of people's favourite. Is he the one that that guy has had all of this surgery and he he says he identifies as Korean and he's been having all this surgery? Oh, no, that's Jimin. Yeah, Jimmine. I think. Uh, oh, no, that's Jimin. Oh, no, Jimin. <laughs> <laughs> did oh, sorry, did you know Jermaine, the story? Sorry. This guy changed no. his entire face and went and had like a br- basically a brand new face put on because he <laughs> identified as Korean but he's not. Oh my gosh. <gasps> that's that's like my friend. Commitment. <laughs> my beautiful friend, do you know Millie Minogue who's like the third yeah. Minogue sister? And Looks she's, exactly she's like Kylie. Transformed, yeah. Did she do that yeah. in surgery? Yes. Oh, and But she's stunning and so much fun. Hang on, is that Jimin? <laughs> that's Jimin. And he's supposed to look like that guy on the left and oh. just bats some bad surgery, bro. He doesn't. No, not at all. <laughs> okay, You're going to cool. go on botched. <laughs> yeah, don't pay for that. No. Oh, botched is hectic. No. That, I told you that time I accidentally watched. Oh, no, that was Embarrassing Bodies. When the bloke was getting his cauliflower nose oh. carved oh, off by a scalpel. Don't, 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 don't. Oh, my gosh. I'm like, I have just nose. had my dinner. A video <laughs> just like that just came up on my Instagram, and it was a guy peeled his sock off. No, I don't. And it was no. basically no. just no. cauliflower no. feet. No. And it was amazing. And they just had to just shave it off with a knife. I don't <laughs> feel it. Oh. No. Know, and also, cauliflowers make oh. a huge resurgence. <laughs> you just roast it fully as one big head of cauliflower. Yum. I've made, I used to make cauliflower pizza bases, and as World that was coming out of my mouth, I wish I, I yeah, probably <laughs> was famous. Did. Yeah. Oh now, my healthy. goodness. Um, thankfully, I think the reason that the three of us get, oh no! No, I can't look at that. It's amazing. That, how does that happen? I don't know. Look at his little face. He's like, hey, I got cauliflower for you. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. if I get a tiny little bit of dryness on my foot, I'm straight into the bathroom. Oh, you're moisture just capital. All you do is talk about. Lotion. You should have seen yesterday. I was missing Joel you so much. Joel would have loved it. Joel would have loved it. Oh, because Ricky was talking about hydrating and blip, 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 and all this. I, 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 I can about... pay a compliment because she recommended a great moisturizer for yes. me. I said, thanks, thinking I could just it's move nice. on and play Morgan Wallen. No, uh, no. <laughs> we were doing a topic, Joel, of how do you keep yourself looking so good? And I was talking about hyaluronic acid. Mm. Acid and retinol and moisturizer, and we did calls. It was a whole thing. Shush up, you. <laughs> retinol. <laughs> is, that, is that when you got bad, like a bit of um, uh, what, do you, what do you call it? Dermatitis? No, that's um, oh, what's that one where people have acne and they use it to get rid of it and they, they can't drink or anything on it? I think that's what you're talking about. Roaccutane. Oh my god. Oh god. The no, no it's not that. Oh no. Could never do that. <laughs> <laughs> Can Lucky I leave at five you. as well? <laughs> oh, no. I feel so guilty leaving early today. Joel's well. filming something today, top secret, but now I wish I was. <laughs> um, let's talk about th- this. Is what I was going to say is I think the reason the three of us get along so well is because we're not pranksters. No. Um, and oh, I, I hate, hate pranksters. pranksters. But we want to know, are you the original prankster? Are you the prankster in your friendship group? 13, 20, 14, if you are. Or has something this. been done to you, maybe? Maybe oh, you've yeah. got a friend that Were pranks you, you. I mean, I hate that stuff. Do you know I know. I've, I think I've said this before, but apparently he's a massive prankster, and you never, like, guess it. Angelina Jolie. Oh, really? Apparently on all her sets. I know some of it was, like, very, like, distant, but working on one of her sets. And um, when she was filming in Queensland, she's like, a big prankster. She's a really big prankster. I was like, Ange? Angie. Really? Angie? Yeah. She yeah, seems like the most it. serious person on earth. Yeah, doesn't she? Well, next, did you see the Ryan Gosling video that went around on the red carpet of Barbie? When the other guy, the, the other guy that plays Ken, you know how everyone's Ken? 
Yes, and, to, and, and he goes yeah, to take the, the photo with him. He goes to take the photo of him, and then they you know go for the arm around the waist for a photo, and Ryan goes. Oh, I know. to his coaster. Oh, <laughs> I know. See if we can find gay. that, please, Jimin. <laughs> Jimin. <laughs> It's really awkward to watch. It really, well, I told you, a, a famous lead singer of a band who's married to an actress who was in a movie with Ryan Gosling okay. said to me, I said, what was it like for your wife to work with Ryan Gosling? And he's like, well, he really turns up to work and then he goes, which is not a... It's not a diss, mm -hmm. but it's like there was no like, oh my God, he's a great guy. It's oh, like, oh no, he's... He shows he up, comes, he does the job, and he does and his he thing, and well, that's Don't say it. that he said that he... Don't say that. And what was he getting well, up to had... with that man's wife? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to know who it is. <laughs> well, I don't want to say, because I don't want to throw this person under the no, bus, don't. throwing Ryan Gosling under the bus, but this, this band was recently in town. Oh, you know, you I'm not good at bands. Oh, I'm not good at bands. I have no idea who was in town. Have you seen it? Have I know. It's really it? awkward. He's like, Super too gay, bro. Awkward. Too gay. Why does he, mm. why does he why do that? Why not just that? put up with the hand? It's not like it's a fan. He's in the movie with you, Ryan. Super I weird. love a hand on the small of my back. I remember once I got to interview Jeff Goldblum and the whole interview, he held the small of my back with his hand and it was so wonderful. Oh, that, that sounds about bitter. I loved it. Actually, as a girl, um, yeah. Riggy. <laughs> if I, if well, I, was, I was just looking over my shoulder. Yeah, no. But if, <laughs> yeah, I, if I'm getting a pick with you, and I, I mean this, would you prefer my hand like on your waist? I don't or care. No, but let's say you, you could put it on my butt. <laughs> well, I know, I you're the care. wrong person. To <laughs> I'm ask. totally yeah. the wrong guy. But like, do you do that or do you do that? Yeah. Well, Up I mean, or down? I don't. I don't. Whatever. <laughs> Wherever. Yeah, I like. I like. Whatever. Wherever. <laughs> wrong person to ask. I don't. I just. I think it's more weird when it when you can feel those weird energy. Okay, so I shouldn't you know sound it's like this. No, but it's never going to be weird when we're standing for a photo and put our arm no, around. I know, it's more, you're right. It's more the person and the intention is what makes it weird, yeah, no, if I you know get, what I mean. Yeah, like I if you it. creepily stand there and you're like <laughs> lingering with your hot clammy <laughs> hand like, and just like kind of pressing in like with your, you know, it's... Well, okay, all right. That's Whoa. a lot. Well, I apologise for that and it will never happen again. But also, you know, I'd take you down if you did it. So. Well, you say that in front of everyone, but it's yet to happen. <laughs> well. Oh, my God. Have you guys had a wrestle recently? <laughs> not, not recently. <laughs> I remember the last one. <laughs> yeah, you were wearing my jacket going, go, guys, go. I know. I was really commentating from the sidelines. Outside the Coke sign in, in King's I Cross. I know. In King's Cross, you two are wrestling on the balcony. Yeah, and no, the, 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 we're talking the... UFC. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Are talking we doing the original yeah. prankster story? Oh, yeah, I feel like we've been talking for 15 minutes. Dude, give me the headline. This. Just give me the headline. Oh, just this guy did a stupid prank on his friend and he planted 12 kilos of dynamite in his car. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I mean, the guy came back to his car and really was not impressed and called yeah. the police. And now there's like a full investigation going on and... They had to. Oh they had God. to evacuate dynamite. the entire area. Of course, dynamite in your. Where do you even car? buy dynamite? Do you get buy dynamite at Bunnings? I don't know. Isn't the guy? Isn't it Alfred Nobel? Didn't he invent dynamite? And because he invented dynamite, he needed something better for his PR. So they he developed a peace prize around it. So he, the Nobel Peace Prize is the guy that created dynamite. Oh my goodness! Oh, I'm pretty wow. sure that's that. kind of right. Kind we'll, of right. We'll check on that. On we'll this show, I'm pretty sure it's dynamite. Dynamite. <laughs> Save me, Morgan Wallen. Save me. I'm going to um, come over there and put my hand on the small of your back. <laughs> no, I'm leaving. Uh, <laughs> next, I've got a little interesting tidbit about sport because you know we love sport on this love show. It. I love oh, sport. Please don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, love it. It's last night. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. Speaking of last night, this is forward mm. thinking, where will you guys be Saturday? Oh, I'll be um, celebrating Jack's 30th. Oh, have, have you um, organised... A big rented a big screen for that for the Matildas game. Oh, is the Matildas on Saturday night mm, as well? Yeah. Oh, we'll cancel the party. Yeah, I no, mean, cancel know. it. Sorry, Jack. Yeah, sorry, my girls are playing. I'm very excited though because I'm 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 more well. I'm very excited for the Matildas. You know, I'm a very patriotic person, but I'm more excited for the public holiday that our boy keeps promising. <laughs> <laughs> no, you blow your nose. That's all no, right. No, you don't. Don't, don't worry about it. I was about to sneeze, which was going to be so much louder and more gross. We could have been really nice and just picked it up and just kept running with that ball, but we just decided we'd... 
No, because it reminded me. Cause... Quieting down for a little friend over there having to check his knees. Oh, oh, I thought oh. you had a hanky. I was like, oh, no, no, no. It's, it's actually it's paper towel from out there. Oh, no. No, but sport was because um, Kate Langbrook had a party on the 8th years ago, and I, pl- I planned mm. it. And um, Rob Sitch, from working dog Rob Sitch, was like, but this is oh. the Beijing Olympics opening ceremony <gasps> night. So I had to find a huge screen for this cool <laughs> cocktail bar that we had. And so they could watch the opening ceremony of the Olympics over in the corner while really? everyone else was partying. Really though? Oh, you I'm couldn't just party now. and not watch the Well thing? that was hey, that's they get what they they get what they want. They're talented really? guys. Um, but um, the, the Matildas are playing France Saturday night in Brisbane. So like a lot of, especially Melbourne and Sydney and other parts of the country, are like we, we need live sites. We need, we need live sites mm-hmm. hard. Yeah. And I think mm. the Swans game on Saturday night wraps up about four o'clock in the afternoon and they're, they're trying to turn the SCG into a, like a live, tele, what do they call it? Like oh, a live, of live the, zone. Yeah. Oh, that'll be cool. Oh, like a fan zone where fan people. Zone? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Because they've had them down. They've had them at like Federation Square and down at Darling Harbour, I think. <laughs> yes. That's all it. over the place. A fan zone. Fan zone. Um, oh, but we've got some interesting. Sports <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's because I blew my nose. I mean, they don't do that on TV. <laughs> but Channel 7 are pushing back. How's this? Their 6 p.m. bulletin on sun, uh, Saturday night. What? Yes. For the Matildas game against France. They've only done this a few times. Okay. A handful of times. One, when Steve. War was chasing a memorable 100 at the SCG in 2003. Mm-hmm. Huge, I think I was there for moment. that. And then when Michael Clark, you know Clarky, Clarky you know, from, from the Noosa, park. from Noosa, <laughs> uh, took <laughs> three wickets in the final over to secure a miracle win against India in 2008. Now the news will be on at seven o'clock on Saturday night because you can't just dip out of the Matildas game, can you? You can't. But I was no. going to say Peter Overton would never. Oh no, because I don't have the rights. Well, no, you know. I think Mar- <laughs> Michael Ush was on Saturday night. Marsh, if you're listening. Oh, he's been pushed back. I hope he hasn't got big plans. I know he's coming to Jack's 30th, so I'm, no, he hasn't actually <laughs> RSV. <laughs> 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 and that is the first and last time we'll do some sports news. No. No, no, no. Just, I love sports which news. Which is more interesting, you know? I love sports news. What was it on? Yeah. Coverage begins at 4 p.m. on 7. I can't wait. Australian Eastern oh. Standard Time. It's gonna be, I'm going to be so torn. Maybe I, maybe I can't go to Jack's birthday anymore. Maybe you should be sick for Jack's birthday and just stay home. Oh, my gosh. By yourself, my no one week. around. Oh, that would be heaven. You yeah, would actually love that. Have fun at the party that. that I organised. Yeah. Have fun, guys. <laughs> what if the Tilders will have this as their big song? After they beat no, the France. Have, they have to have a song from the musical, Matilda. I'm not sure about okay, this one. That's a firm no. I'm putting this in my cardio playlist. I love it. Oh, I saw you put that on our broadcast channel. I put it on my own broadcast channel. Okay, sure. <laughs> Get out of my broadcast. broadcast Sorry for peeking into your broadcast channel. <laughs> Glossy's next. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. On Nova. <laughs> I really, you just got your oh, yeah. card for your birthday. Oh, yeah. And I just mm. want you to read just... You, you probably won't be able to read it out loud. Okay. But just read what oh. I wrote for you. It's really oh, heartfelt. Yeah. <laughs> and... <Well. laughs> does, does it, is it bleeped when it's when it's written down as well? Oh, yeah, actually, if it... you bleep, can you get me the sensor beat, please, Dan? And also, thank you, guys, because it's, like, it's almost like you don't know me. All I've gotten so far is vinyl and tequila. <laughs> <laughs> You've gotten so much Am I really hard today? to buy for or something? <clears throat> okay, let's have a look here, and I'll get a... Okay, happy birthday, <laughs> and then she goes... <laughs> Your favourite <laughs> kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> <laughs> It said love from oh, your favourite. Uh, love from your favourite. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. It's Thank from you, the heart. God. Uh, mm. Joel's was... just happy birthday, you big sexy bitch. <laughs> <laughs> love Joel. Yeah, oh, you guys are the best. By <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. What do you want to write in this person's card? Because you're 900 k's away. Yeah, I always quickly love, text me. Yeah, the last minute. Quick, Joel, can you text me? We want to put in Tim's card. I know. I should just have a copy and paste that I send for everyone's card. I like my card, though. You sh- should I have a pint? And then it's a spinny wheel and it's like, yes, of course. <laughs> yep. Absolutely. Sure. Well, yeah. Definitely. No question. Yes. All right. I will. Well, I know what the end don't want to card. have. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, know. I still had it. <laughs> All right. Let's look at the glossies, guys. This is this massive is Kylie Minogue, Kylie Minogue news. Oh. 
Um, I know. Um, I, I don't think this is the news, but all the big like um, like Mardi Gras festivals are on over in Europe at the moment, and Padam Padam has surged back up the streaming charts, of course. But I don't know what this is. <laughs> the big Mardi Gras festivals are on in Europe. Can we just take a break? <laughs> well, <laughs> Gay Pride is at a different time in Europe to here. It's very confusing. I know. Oh, because of summer. Yeah, because oh, after yeah, Glastonbury, what, after Glastonbury last year, I accidentally ended up in the London Pride Parade. Oh, oh that's yes. Right. So I'm just walking through like. This is a very happy place. Oh, who are these people? Well, I'm walking to the pub, so I'll follow these you. These are some very, very tall women. <laughs> yeah, I, <laughs> I think What's on the Rich. Kind of I don't know. So, news is more than just a residency, her uh, Las Vegas residency sold out within an hour of release. <gasps> oh, my goodness. The first show's November 3. We've got to get over it. We've got to show our support. We have we've to. Got, uh, we have to. This is huge. Kylie takes on the US. Yeah, at so, the Venetian. I'm so proud. At our favourite place. the Venetian so much. Come on, Venetian. Take a gondola there. That'll be nice. I'm going to give you a hot take. I reckon if we go to Vegas, we're not going to do much sleeping. Okay. I'm good with that. You down I, with that? I'll um, be like a bear and hibernate for a okay. few weeks before. Yeah, of course. Okay. Yeah, that's what you get for waking up in Vegas. Hey-o! Shut up and put your money where your mouth is. Now, this is next. Next loss is another one of your favourites, Joel. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> no, this is my, re- like, genuine, this is my um, s- straight hall pass. Would you say that? Jessica Chastain, I just think she's the most beautiful human on planet Earth. Yeah. Oh, well, we're right here. <laughs> but um, I don't know the news about it. She's performing her. on Broadway, right? And she vomited in her mouth. We've all been there. And then had to <laughs> swallow it back immediately because she had to kiss one of her co-stars. Oh, my goodness. That would have been a real uh, zero dark 30 moment. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Can you imagine the smell? Mm, I know. Um, I'd still kiss her. I've done that so many times. Bro. Yeah, and I've seen you do it a couple of times. A couple of times. Yeah, everything good? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then swiftly someone comes over and says, oh, I think it might be time to leave now. I'm like, okay, mind your business, we're leaving anyway. And then we're into seven more venues. And we showed them. Uh, next glossy, please. What's happening here? Oh, oh, this is um, this Joel. I love this. Yeah. This is like, uh, like uh, selling one of the real estate shows. It's like, but it's selling oh, yachts. Like selling yeah, it is. <gasps> it's what? selling yachts, and apparently, it it's is called the Hot Miami Yachts. Yes, <laughs> and it's like the bitchiest. Sassiest show. I 100% think this is going to be our new favourite show. Yeah. So hang on, what's what's happening is people are selling yachts to other people. Just selling yachts to really rich people, but the casting of these things is amazing. (laughs) Like, you know the show Lux Lux Listings in Australia? That one? Yeah. Yeah. Like the cast. Yes. Yes. And you you love to hate all of these people and then they fight and then it's. So much more about just the selling of the yachts. Isn't I that person we know on Lux, Lux Listings? Don't mention their name, but isn't that person that we kind of know on that show? Delta Goodrum. No, don't. No. <laughs> who didn't, who she, never bought she anything. Was on the, no, but Delta was on the new seasons of Lux Listings and she's like, oh, I need somebody to record my new album. And so they find her a house and then she goes, oh, I've decided I don't want it. Why? <laughs> Seriously, oh, that's, that's the whole storyline of the new season. Yeah. Oh, well, don't give okay. it away. Also, is there like studios in Sydney? Heaps. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> Heaps right near where she actually lives. <laughs> okay, and last glossy. I know there's some people on the team here. Brienne, oh. second last day. It's her penultimate day on the show. Um, no. Brienne and her housemate Georgie, both um, high flying EPs of shows, yep. both mm-hmm. in tears in separate offices watching really? Taylor Swift broadcast oh, her last yes. LA Arena show to see if she was going to drop this big announcement. And I think she did, which you can't really hear, but here it is. I know the US like the Eras tour. In the She's just announced, finally, like we all didn't know, that Amazing. 1989 Taylor's version will be re-released <laughs> on Paul McCartney Day in Sydney, oh October 27th. I'm so excited. This is my favourite Taylor album. Well, I'm excited about this. I love this album too. Yeah. So at least I'll get behind this one with the rest of the world. Taylor's version. Oh, it's gorgeous. And we'll be happy to hear more of Out of the Woods and Style and all of these All those ones. Yeah, now, are, you, fine with that. are you sticking around for the top of the hour or are we saying goodbye? I think we're saying goodbye. Okay, okay. you got to trip off. You've got to trip off. You, you're Sorry, filming Dave. something. Yeah. We wish I'll you all the best. about it soon. Good you'll luck. nail it. You're, you're going to be amazing. It. We love you. Thank you. Go, Joe. Stick a fork in me, I'm done. Wow. This is Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. Yes. Oh, yeah. Unover. And we called it yesterday. So, I mean, are we calling it now? 
Yeah. 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 yeah, we called it already. Didn't, we've already called no, it. You sorry, can't, we've already you called it. You're right. Twice. You can't call it twice. So sorry. Happy weekend. Uh, Joel has trooped off to record something, something very fancy and very top secret. Yes. But he's going to be amazing. He's going to be amazing. Of course he is. He's always amazing. And he's going to beat whoever he's yeah. with. Yeah, that's right. Um, which will, will seem weird for you at about 5.30 when all of a sudden Joel pops up in your quick draw. <laughs> yes. But um, we did record our quick draw earlier today and you see this person and you think, wow, Tilda Swinton has really let herself go. <laughs> let herself go? <laughs> that is the tease. Quick draw is around the corner. This is Post Malone's Chemical and next. This, is, this story is disturbing. It's when your parents <laughs> and the children collide. <laughs> Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel. It's Post Malone, Chemical. It's chemical. <laughs> you can tune into our friend Jermaine on Sunday nights. He has great information about people like Post Malone. <laughs> and I just found out that he and I share the same insecurity. My nipples. What? I have poofy nipples. <laughs> I mean, Posty, same. <laughs> Justice for poofy nipples. <laughs> You had poofy nipples? What's a poofy nipple? Are they big? Like, a, as in, like, erect, pointy. Oh, my God. Like, quite pointy. What is happening? You got, like, a long, you got a long nipple. You sure you pronounce it poofy? Justice for poofy nipples. Full <laughs> <laughs> blown gay. Joel's, Joel's also, and his dad, have quite... And his dad? Nipples, yeah. Oh, that's like parents and children c- colliding. See? see? That's what we're about Levels. to do. Levels. Um, now, you probably, this is, I don't know anyone who will have a similar story, but if you're, if, <laughs> I guess what I'm trying to say is if you're, your parent and your child, how's this? Here's, here's an example what? that would be ridiculous, right? And this is what we're talking about. When your, your parents and your children collide, <laughs> hypothetically, what if your parents had split up, right? And your dad was at a bar and your dad starts just like, putting her arm around a girl oh. at the bar and it's his daughter. Yeah. That's that, what we're talking about. Yeah, kind of. Oh, my gosh, you know, oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm going to write down the song we need. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, yes. <laughs> because this story is I choked. Yeah. Oh, gosh, on my banana. <laughs> what? I choked on my banana when I was reading this story okay, I've got, this you ready, morning. Do you want to do it? Do you to play it now? Or no, 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 at okay. the very end. Okay. 13, oh. 24, 10, if you're, uh, your parents and your children, you've collided in a really icky moment. Yeah, like, like, oh, no, this is too much. How close have you gotten to your parents? You know, That's like, better. how close? Like, what if what if, a, what if uh, a girl's like, oh, my God, like, from behind, like, that guy's, you know, pretty good, and turns around, it's your dad. dad. <laughs> yeah. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, something like that. Mm-hmm. Because a woman named Melissa was house-sitting for her parents yes. while they were away. And as you do when you stay at someone's house, you have a cheeky little snoop around at your parents' house, of course, because you want to know what they have in the drawers, mm-hmm. you want to know what's, like, stashed under the bed. So, hang on, start again, because this is big. Okay. Who, who's at whose house? Melissa yeah. was house-sitting at her parents' house. Oh, right. House okay. sitting at her parents' house. <laughs> yeah. Right. So then she was sleeping in her parents' room. Right. When, just by accident, uh-huh. she found a shoebox under the bed. Right. And it just so happened to be full of session toys, right? Well, surely that's the moment you closed that box. <laughs> it wasn't. Because it's Cause your parents' bedroom. A little bit freaky deaky. She'd had a couple of glasses of wine. She found mum's... You know, little guy, and she gave it a wash. Oh my god! <laughs> she was a bit excited, you know. Maybe she was. What she was pe- in the mood. Maybe she had a bit of pain and just you know. What do you mean pain She had a bit of pain. Oh. Oh, like and she, she had, <laughs> yeah, she was what? Maybe she was having a pain. No, mm-hmm. and she was watching Puss in, in boots. boots. Um, so Don't, she oh no. she gave one mm-hmm. of her mum's uh, little toys that was in the box under the bed a cheeky little wash, and then used it. Now, after she used it, like as if it couldn't get any more disturbing or disgusting. Well, this is the thing. People are driving around going, surely that's the worst part. It's not. Using your mum's session toy. (laughs) It's not the worst part. Get ready. After using it, she saw that it had clone a willy etched on the side of it, meaning the toy was a replica of her dad. <laughs> ah! What? <laughs> now you know why I choked on my banana. <laughs> and why you wanted this song. Oh, no, 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 exactly no, no. why I wanted this song. Like, That's could you... That, 
on so many levels. I would burn levels. the house down for a start. I would light myself on fire. <laughs> Can I ask how this story's gotten out? I don't. Maybe no, she's, I know, Maybe she's just, you know, I want to know. Mm. Well, no, hang on. Can we say what you want to know on the air? That's, no, let's save that. Oh, no. Well, no. When do you find out? Oh, no. I want to get her on the phone and find out if it was good. Well, if you're good. listening, if you're listening, Melissa. Now, you, you worded it better. When have your parents and children... Yeah, when, when, when gonna, oh, what did I say? What, what did you say? It was a better way of describing it. <laughs> how close did yeah, you get to Yeah, how close did your... you get to your parents? Yeah, in a, in, in a weird okay. way. There you go. Okay, Mitchell, go for it. That's a story that's very hard to beat. <laughs> I, I do understand that. <laughs> Hi, Mitchell. Hi, how are you going? Good, Very mate. good. When did you get too close? <laughs> um, yeah, so I was about 12 years old. This has stayed with me. I'm 40 now. This has stayed with me my whole mm-hmm. life. Yeah. Um, you know, being the morning, uh, I was 12, um, I used to sleep naked, yeah. uh, mum's walked, you know, walked past my room. Uh, anyway, later on, having cereal, uh, oh. my mother decided to tell me, um, you've got the exact same, uh, you know, lower parts as your father. Okay. Almost identical. <laughs> okay. How close, what? How is she, okay. How close did your mother This is get? over the cereal. Can I just have my nutri grain? <laughs> Twelve years old, eating cocoa pops, and then my mum comes out with that. Okay, well, thanks, mum. Well, um, you know, she did change your nappies for, you yeah. know, for your whole childhood. Yeah, that's right. But I think you don't Good you time. don't describe that stuff. You don't want to be related to your dad. Um, this is kind of similar. I remember a friend of mine sent me this. This is from someone's iPhone, uh, like iWatch kind of Apple Watch text. Mm-hmm. The text popped up. The mum just says, "Hey, I've just picked up your sock again, Lachlan. Not on. Pasta for tea." <laughs> <laughs> Quick draw is next. Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. You got like a long, you got a long. Nip. You sure you pronounce it poofy? Ricky Lee, Tim, and Joel. Justice for poofy nipples. Driving you home on Nova. Now I'm ready. Now I'm ready. This is Holly Holly and this Sumner. So oh, good. Yeah. Have I seen you this? Yeah, I sent it to you yesterday. Oh, you sent it to me yesterday and I said I was going to listen in the car, but I didn't, but I'll do it today. Do it today. Holy Holy with Sumner. Let's do this bit. Oh. Is Sumner or a joy from Tassie? I just want to stay, want to stay all night. I can totally relate to that. Nice. <laughs> it's a text conversation, too. Anyway, have a listen to that. Uh, their album comes out real soon. It's their fifth album. Next, though, oh, who is the person that you look at and think, wow, Tilda Swinton's really let herself go? <laughs> that is our next Quick Draw guest. After this, another cracking song. It's Calvin Harris, Sam Smith, Desire on Nova. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel on Nova. Our next guest is an award-winning comedian. Lovely of you to come out, ladies and gentlemen, said no one's grandparents. He's performed all over the world and has starred alongside our very own Joel Creasy. How gorgeous. I love it. He also serves as a judge on RuPaul's Drag Race Down Under. Racers, start your engines. Please welcome Reese Nicholson. There he is. Hey. Welcome, Reese. Hello. Hey. Hello, darling. Great Hello. to see you. Good to see you. Lovely to see Actually, you. Actually, you popped in last week. You you yeah. popped in on the show on Friday night before yes. we went to our little drag show together. We did. How we went and saw. Oh, it was so good. We went and so saw um, a viewing party of Drag Race Down Under, and it was so fun because oh we were God. sitting in the very front row, and the queens were freaking out that Reese was there. <laughs> I and didn't it was mean wonderful. to, like, and because I'm new, Drag Race has brought a small level of I, I don't want to use the word fame, but maybe notoriety. But I'm not sure. I didn't. I don't know that I'm meant to um, call ahead to places. <laughs> okay. Like, I've got to yeah. learn. And so turned up, and the only seats that were left were right down the front. I know. So I turned up. Not just my, with myself, but with Joel Creasy. And <laughs> yeah. we sat down the front and 
Because they need to get plastered and watch the drag show. We were the last people at that bar. We were sitting out, like, expecting the drag queens to come out to us and no. greet us. And Did then they we not? looked back. No, they, they were packing up the whole the whole bar. Pack we were just out in the smoking section, not that, smoking. Is that why you were desperate to get to a house party where everyone thought you were popular? <laughs> oh, shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I, told them. Oh, I knew this was going to come up when I knew Reese was coming in today. I, I is this what not, happened, Reese? Yeah, yeah. Reese was invited to the house party. I was invited to the house party and I looked at um, how my hands weren't shaking, which means I'm very drunk. <laughs> and I thought, it's time for mummy to go home, I think. I know, you I made don't the right party. decision. I'm not... I've noticed anymore. that I, I said I said that to to Joel after the Logies because you had the chance of a lifetime to get into our maxi yeah. taxi and come to one of the great after parties. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you didn't. And then the door Can closed on your face. What time it was? What it time was it? Three thirty in the morning. I know. Yeah, we but we weren't ready. Just yeah, we were, we're just standing at the front of the bro. star. We were ready to finish. I'd already just had to, you know. Block conversations with the likes of Sigrid Thornton all night. So, you know, I, I never met her. Um, but, like, I just remember, I knew that my bed was upstairs in the hotel and yeah. I looked at that car and I love you all. <laughs> but, maybe, oh boy. Maybe if we had a bit more of a fancy car, like if we had, you know, like a, a fancy Mercedes van, like, you know, like real cool people, oh, yeah, but we, we had a Mac, a dirty it Maxi, a taxi. Maxi taxi. With one of those yeah. big ramps yeah, in the back. And someone, someone was yelling, I've got a cab charge, I'll just pay you whatever you want. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Over oh. management. Oh, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I did go to leagues with SBS, so I was probably the one with the cab charge. They love a cab charge yeah, at SBS. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, there's Uber now. <laughs> Is there no more show business feeling? And I'm speaking directly to the public now. Than a cab charge. <laughs> a, cab know, a cab right? charge or an email that says per diem. Oh, Is yeah. this relatable? Is this relatable content well, from me? Cab <laughs> charges used I'm to brand. be like blank be checks. Blank checks, basically, oh, yeah. and you could go, go to, to a whole other city. You like you get in drive to Melbourne. Well, what about if you want. this? Even in the old school record company days, yeah. you could actually buy other things with cab charges. You could not. Are you oh. joking? Speaking of the Logies. <laughs> yes, you could. That's, That's amazing. amazing. I didn't know that. You can get How? all different types of beer. Not, like, not that you would have ever done that, like but I'm you, sure if you want to go to a Harris friend. Farm or Woolies, you yeah. could do a shop. Yeah, you could just take you this. You could buy a cab. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. I yeah. still got cab charges from years ago. I might get them Let's out on the weekend. Them. Let's what? use them next time we go to a totally. drag show. We'll get, go buy cab charges. See if we can buy ourselves a drag queen. Oh, that'd be amazing. They were totally untraceable. Yeah. They were. Oh, yeah, now yeah, yeah. now the ones they like swipe them and they oh, know no. who, who got That's that the world, certain though, one. Isn't it? But th- those ones that used to be like a check, <laughs> yes. they didn't if know was, who used it. No, I know because you didn't use the biro. Is a call in? I mean, you know, we can't do a call in, but if we would do a call in, like, what, what's the weirdest thing you've bought with a cab charge? <laughs> what's the well, let's do it. Let's see what we have. get. 13, 20, yeah. 10, if we get someone, we'll put them on. Now, I um, bought my wife. <laughs> <laughs> and a beaded car seat. <laughs> um, Got to get one of them. <laughs> Who the hell thinks they're comfortable? I've always wanted to, I've never sat on one, but I've no, always wondered why they use them. Because they don't come in Porsche size. <laughs> <laughs> Between cab charges and Porsches, the relationship. Relatable content is flying around. Yeah. Well, tell us about Drag Race Down Under Season 3. It's uh, streaming now on Stan, and I do like this because the episodes drop every Friday at 5. So you yeah. two at home, tomorrow night, you could have a little viewing party for the next oh, yeah. episode. Mm-hmm. Yes. yes. I want to go. I like it's, it's our third season. It's very exciting. Joel and I watched the second episode That's the other awesome. night. And I'm usually out of the country when the show's going out on air Relatable. on the internet is that how did it work <laughs> um, but I've been going to viewing parties every week and I recommend it like you've yeah, got to go and uh, you're supporting local queens as well are they in public places the or are you going race? to friends houses where are no, these viewing parties no they're not going to places no really places. I went yeah. to Universal <laughs> in places. Sydney public I, pl- I, go to, <laughs> I go to public now <laughs> public look place. I'll be honest I know I'm going to be famous for a very short amount of time <laughs> and I need to milk it I so need to make sure I'm seen yeah yeah when you go and watch Queen's IRL and you you and Joel mm. are sitting right up the front, do they go extra hard? Because I would. Well, they can't because they're tucked. But, but, um, <laughs> you, you don't want to pull a muffler. You've got to be careful. <laughs> I um, think they were I think they were a little bit intimidated a little by bit. you. I th- but, and I forget because I am so obsessed with them and we've known each other for like almost 15 years now. Yeah, Joel too and long. Yeah. And you, we, would go, we used to go out together to like bars when we were tiny babies and you would always lose me and you'd find <laughs> me in what I would call a pile of drag queens. Like yes. I've always been obsessed with queens. Yes. They're the most powerful people in any yeah. room that you put them. Yeah. Mm. And so I'm obsessed with them. I 
but they only know me as sitting opposite them on a desk and telling them oh, this yeah. wasn't the right week for them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and now yeah, suddenly bastard. I'm in the front row going, do a flip. <laughs> You're yeah, amazing. Shablam. Shablam. <laughs> Slam it into the ground. I remember when I did, I was doing, I was hosting the project and Alyssa Edwards came in, who's like mm. one of the big drag queens. And in the project meeting beforehand, they were like, let's get a sh- to Shablam on the show. I was like, where... Is she going to shablam on the project desk? I think she has to warm up. She can't just come and yeah. just like dropped her back. And also, that's yeah. the tiniest room where they film hang on, the hang on, project. Sorry, can I ask something just What's on behalf of everyone? A What's a shablam? The front? What is a shablam? I wish I a could shablam. do it. A shablam is like it's Uh-oh. like a high. Oh, I'm about to be absolutely is roasted. It that one? Yeah, yeah. It's like a. No, it's I'm like not a, gonna. I can't do it. I can't it's not a death drop. drop. I'm gonna take these off. They like basically jump up. Yeah. And they lay down. Okay. And they're like this. On. Like one leg is bent, and they oh my god, they jump into this. They jump yeah. and they yeah. fall like that. <laughs> and I want you to know, everyone listening at home. Ricky's she's, on the floor. She's in a leotard. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. It's well, a, it's a, it's not a full death drop. It's not a full death drop. They don't really call them death drops anymore as well. I think no, I think that's the connotation. The <laughs> <laughs> that was very impressive, Ricky. That mm. was. I'm, I I uh, wish that I could actually do one and do the jump, but I'm too my, my old knees won't let me. I but- would die if I came to one of your gigs and in the middle of raining times you should blame. <laughs> Maybe I should. Maybe I should. I'm doing a oh, couple you, of things at a couple of times. Can you times. release new, like a new track called Shablam? Yes. Ricky Lee. Oh, God. oh, I like that. Shablam. Yes. And then I can Shazam, Shazam it. You can Shazam Shablam. <laughs> yeah, Sh- yeah. Shazam Shablam. Yeah, oh Shablam gosh. brackets. Ricky's version. And I just yeah. spend the whole music video just laying in Shablam position. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now, Reese, you played Quick Draw before. Joel did beat you and he's going to play yeah. you again today. Uh, we've got sure. Prime Minister back with the rules. Let's have a listen. I'm Anthony Albanese and these are the official quick draw rules. Tim will give a category and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. Best out of seven wins. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Thank you, Albo. And I've been quite good lately at Quick Draw. I just want to warn you. Isn't that yeah, wild? Been... I've also interviewed the Prime Minister. You've mm-hmm. interviewed the Prime Minister. I've interviewed the Prime Minister. What's wrong with Australian politics? <laughs> <laughs> like, like we're, we're the ones I know. Doing that's yeah. even correction. The Prime Minister just calls us sometimes. Yeah. No. We don't even request the interview sometimes. No, I Are we freak worried out. about Albo? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he's all right. He, we actually got him to redo those because the, the first lot he did weren't good enough. So we said, hey, bro, can you do them again? He goes, sure. I love that. <laughs> well, that's between so all that... Talk about cab charges. I, I think we could, why don't we help the cost of living crisis oh, with yeah. cab charges? I know. Yeah. Is that is that a thing? Come that on, Albert. Idea, actually, <laughs> we'll bring that up next time he calls in. We'll hand them out yeah. after the referendum. Yeah. One thing at a time. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's do a practice question, then we'll come back. Okay. Here we yeah. go. It is Joel V. Reese. <clears throat> Name something you might find funny, starting with J. Joel Creasy. Oh. <laughs> I so thought the answer was going to be shablam. Shablam. <laughs> Reese Nicholson's here playing Quick Draw for real when we come back. Ricky Lee, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. Yeah, it's good to have Reese back. He popped in Friday, but it's good to have you here officially to mm. chat all things uh, Drag Nothing Race Down Under Season 3. Uh, tomorrow, next episode drops on Stan. Episode 3. It's a big one as well. Is it? We had a queen. We had oh, a queen. Yes. If you, I mean, I won't give too much away, but a queen had a little medical fainted and <gasps> there was no lip sync for your life. So we're going to find it. We're going to see that it's the first episode in history, That's a so lip sync for your life at the beginning of an episode and the end. Oh, oh wow. A bookmark. Sandwich. Oh my gosh, yeah. amazing. Actually, speaking of books, you have a book coming out in October, is that right? I do have a book. Well, look at me crowbarring that in. Yeah. Thank you oh, very I like much. That. Yeah, I have a book called Dish coming out. I've okay. written a book. Joel, you've written a book. It's not as easy as anyone tells well, you. Well, wait, as soon be. as I no, finish no. Thirsty, I'm going to read this. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> Very big print. I can't believe you've not finished it yet. It's a picture book. <laughs> well, you know, I, I've got it held up. It's got all my stuff on it near the, in the yeah. office. I like keeping no. it near my desk. On your mantelpiece. Inspires piece. me. Near all of your mm. radio awards. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. And gin. <laughs> and gin. <laughs> I've got oh, gin, boy. radio <laughs> awards, and Joel's book. That really sums the you Tim up. The Tim Blackwell radio story. <laughs> Simple guy, top three. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, let's do it. Uh, Joel, you did beat Reese last time. It's anyone's game, and Ricky is scoring. I am scoring. And you Look, have a pen. I've got a pen, and I've got my, my cute little, oh, my cute little uh, scorecard. So organised. And you can't complain travel. about the delay now, Joel, because you're in the same that's room. Right. Well, that, that's not happening anymore. It's guests okay. face-to-face playing face quick draw now. Face. New rule. Fight, fight, yeah. fight, Good, I fight. like that rule. Yeah, no, I think it's, that's good. Because we're, we're yep. being fair, right? We're doing one week, Ricky, one week, Joel. It's like whoever's in town. Yep. That's, that's what we do. It. All right. We're going to quick draw for our lives. <laughs> Two <laughs> queens stand before us. <laughs> Quite literally. Name Come something on, you'd put in a handbag starting with M. 
Ooh. Joel, good good I feel like, like Ray said something. <laughs> I said makeup. But you didn't yell it. You two good are so heavens. funny. Joel said mascara. Ray said makeup. Makeup. And yeah. I just thought money. <laughs> 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 I think we have a replay already. Let's have a look. Makeup. Oh, Joel. Oh, Joel. Joel. That's Joel. Yeah. Come on, Joel. That's Joel. Come on, Joel. Well she can't lose. She can't. I saw you say that about me. Um, yeah. Who would win in a lip sync for your life? And you said you, I would never lose. And I was yeah. like, the tr- tr- beautiful I mean, words. I did. Th- I said Joel Creed. I said Joel Creed would win because Joel Creed he can't lose. And I really hit the cart. Like Joel Creed, Like you yeah. won't allow that to happen. Absolutely not. Watch this. I'm going to I'm gonna absolutely whip you. <laughs> <laughs> right. I wasn't, wasn't fishing like what I caught. <laughs> Question two. Name an animal you would keep as a pet starting with F. Flamingo. Oh. Of course I you would because you're so it. fabulous. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> I know. And they've got such Come good core strength, bitch. flamingos. And don't they get the pink feathers from some algae they eat? Is that something? I don't know. Anyways, move on. Is that it algae or do they eat salmon? I want you to know that I know that. Salmon? Don't they eat Salmon. salmon. I don't know. No, you're thinking of bears, Tim. <laughs> bears. bears. Oh, yeah, they get their pink skin from uh, salmon. <laughs> <laughs> Not touching it. Care bears. Uh, question number three. Name something you'd study at uni, starting with E. Economics. Yeah. Oh, Joel. <laughs> I'm so a comedian that I couldn't imagine going to uni. I know. I was like, <laughs> what do they do there? What is it? Child studies? Is okay. that with an E? Is it economics? Yeah, yeah of course. course. Is it? Yeah, of course you know it. You study political something. I did... I study political science well, and foreign affairs. You're a political animal. I'm a political animal. You that was are. my second second ever stand up show was called Political Animal. I saw it, I this is how long we've known each other. I saw Joel do that show in front of thirty five people in a oh. tiny room that fit forty maybe? Yeah. I remember wow. one night someone farted in the second row and, and I, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> 35. Uh, oh. I say, when I first met Joel, he was living in a tiny little Docklands apartment with everything. We had primary colours everywhere. And he was, and, 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 <laughs> and he was airing, airing all his clothes out on the windiest balcony in <laughs> world history. How many cl- how many pieces of clothing did you lose over that? Because I lost so many in Docklands. Oh, yeah, it's so windy. We've all lost a lot to Docklands. <laughs> <laughs> Our souls. <laughs> all right. So score, please, Ricky. It is two points to Joel, one point to Reese. Let's do question four. Name a muscle in the body starting with T. T Testicles. (laughs) (laughs) Try. What do you think? Oh, yes. Oh, I thought you were going to pay testicle. Is that a muscle? No, but that means Joel gets a go. That's the rule. I mean, testicle's not a muscle, so Joel, you get a free go. Hey, there are. Well, then what have I been working on for years? A muscle. A muscle. A muscle. Oh, sorry, oh, no. Now it gets we, to no, go back to race, no, right? Is it both. tennis? <laughs> Is it tennis? Is that how this works? <laughs> no, you no, <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> it's tricep. Tongue is a muscle. Traps, oh. but no, none of those are acceptable, so let's move on. Question oh number God. five. Teeth, got hair in teeth my and mouth. testicles. That's where we went. <laughs> yeah, well done. <laughs> teeth and teeth, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Name something you get stuck on a roof. What? Name something that could get stuck on a roof, starting with B. B- Boris Johnson. <laughs> yeah, you can have it. He got stuck on, you, a, on a wire that time in London. Did Joel so get stuck on a roof? Did Joel answer time? anything? I, did he I said boat. Noise? I said boat. You can't have a boat on a roof. Oh, unless you're but in Mary is... Poppins. Mm, Chim Chimini. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> let's give it had a boat on his roof. Give it to Reese. Yeah. yeah, let's give okay. it to Reese. It's two points a piece. Nothing to Reese, please. <laughs> Little cuties. I'm on a stand show, please. <laughs> <laughs> Name a dessert starting with P. Pavlova. Whoa, Joel. Heaven. Have them over. Yeah. <laughs> Did you just ejaculate? <laughs> yeah, I can. As someone in the room, yes. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing white. <laughs> And I'm never eating your pavlova ever, either. (laughs) My secret ingredient. It's store bought, don't worry. (laughs) That means... Joel. Joel. If you get this next one, you win. Reese. you've got to get this one right to stay in the game. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Don't say that, Joel. We've already... (laughs) Oh, sorry. (laughs) In there. Name an instrument in an orchestra starting with C. Cello, cello. Oh, Oh, Joel! Yep. There we go. I don't know about you, but it feels like Joel wanted that more. I think you really oh, wanted yeah. that. <laughs> Told you, Joel Creek, you can't lose. Grace, lovely to see you. We'll watch you tomorrow lovely night on Stan with the new episode of Drag Race Down Under Season 3. Streams and drops in the new book, obviously, in October, but we'll speak to you before then. Yeah, it's called Dish, whatever. Come on, look, bye. Right. <laughs> Pardon? <laughs> bye. Bye. bye.